Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you from the warehouse once again here in Las Vegas at Down for Sound. And in this video, we're gonna be going over different types of lithium batteries that we have here in front of us. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, let's get into this. So in this video, we're going to be discussing a few different types of lithium batteries, uh, which they may look different, but they're the same type of technology. LTO or lithium titanate oxide is the type of uh, technology that's used in each one of these batteries that you see in front of us. So um, we're gonna go over, I guess we'll start with uh, the Down for Sound LTO 6.0. Uh, this is a battery that is primarily going to be, or you're only supposed to use it as a supplemental battery inside of your vehicle. So like if you have a car, a vehicle, whatever, back there in the back near your amplifier is not made to go under the hood. So this is going to be primarily inside your vehicle. Do not use this under the hood or outside. That's not what it was designed for uh, being used outside. Only being, it was only designed to be used inside and supplement with your battery under the hood and a high output alternator. So moving on to the next style, um, we picked these up. These are the, people call them Yin Long cells. They're cells and you can see right here that they're 2.3 volts each. This is what I run in the Tahoe. If you look at that battery bank in the back, I have a ton of these back there, which equates to I think like 580 amp hours. So uh, I think that's is how many I have. Um, Somewhere in there, 500 to 600 amp hours. So each one of these is 40 amp hours. So, and 2.3 volts. So very powerful uh, cells right here. But the thing is they come like this. So if you don't know anything about lithium batteries, um, you would have to, one, learn how to put these things together and you would use these, they're called dog bones. You take one of these and you screw it down on the end right there and you put these together in either a five pack, six pack, or seven pack. So five of them is called 5S, and then you have 6S and 7S like configuration. Depending on what voltage you're wanting to run, obviously you would multiply your 2.3 volts times like five, and you would get that voltage you would be running. When you do that times six, you get a different voltage, but all the way up to seven or however many you want to run, depending on what voltage you're wanting to run. But this is for your do-it-yourself people. If you're wanting to do that, we offer this now as well. Uh, these uh, cells right here that you can put together yourself these are usually used inside um, because you have a lot of like metal exposed here if you live in a very damp climate or up north where there's a lot of salt and you had this outside it would probably corrode really fast so I would also use this inside as well but this is a more do-it-yourself type of offering so if you are a do-it-yourself person then there's that moving on to the next thing is a titanate battery from excess power you see it's in a case that looks like a battery that's going to go under the hood because it's able to be put under the hood this one specifically is a 14 volt uh, model it's also lto technology again lithium titanate oxide is what that stands for we use this because we deem it's the safest uh lto sorry lithium technology and uh, we've just had really good luck with it so we try to go with that for the majority of the time there's some other good stuff out there as well but we've had really good luck with this so that's why we keep rolling with it anyway this is going to be able to be put under the hood because it has your protective casing here it's going to protect it from heat and the elements is going to keep water out and moisture and everything like that is sealed up really nice so this one is able to be used under the hood this one specifically is a 14 volt model you can get them in 12 volt, 14 volt, or 16 volt, and you would want to be able to charge it accordingly. So usually a 14 volt battery is gonna be charging somewhere around 17 volts. A 12 volt battery is gonna need about like 14.8, somewhere in there. And a 16 volt setup is usually uh, 18 to 19 volts, somewhere in there. So that's three different options of lithium batteries that you can get for your ride. And there's, like I said, there's tons of different ones that you can get and put together and some of them are very very dangerous i've seen <laughs> i hate to even bring up the word but uh, i won't even say it but people will know what type of lithium battery i'm talking about it catches people's vehicles on fire all the time it's like every time i turn around there's somebody with their vehicle burning down on facebook with this certain type of lithium 
technology in their uh, ride and you already know I guarantee you somebody's gonna drop a comment below on what this lithium uh, type is because it's some people have good luck with it but it seems like the majority of people like they have big issues with it they they don't come and there's all kind of excuses like oh you didn't compress it right you didn't this you didn't that man like me personally i don't want to take a risk like that so i use stuff that's going to be as safe as possible and give you the um best uh, safety whereas other people just want something that's super cheap so uh pick what you want to do but if you're asking for my uh, experience and recommendation LTO is one of the best ways to go so be sure to check out these in the description below and if you have any other questions pertaining to car audio just let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you're running in your vehicle I would be interested in knowing what the majority of people are running for their lithium banks in their vehicle so drop that in the comments below as well appreciate you joining me in another video we'll see you in the next one later What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.